The MaxTrack 3-inch and 2-inch lift kit is a good choice for your F-150 if you're looking to get a small bump in ride height with 3 inches in the front and 2 inches in the rear while also leveling out your truck. This is the perfect way to fit a set of 33-inch tires safely without any rubbing or modifications, and the price of the kit is listed just under the $200 mark. The installation is a direct bolt-on with no cutting or drilling required, so expect one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Lifting your truck accomplishes a few different things. Now, first off, if you're looking to pick up a bigger wheel and tire set, like 33s, then this is your best way to go. You'll need at least two inches up front to clear the bigger set, and this provides more than enough clearance. It's a mild bump over the factory ride height, and it gets the job done while giving you the look you want. Trying to fit 35s under there is possible, but it might be a tight fit and require some trimming in the wheel well. If you want a direct bolt-on with no modifications, then 33s are my recommendation. Aside from looks though, 3 inches of added height in the front and 2 inches in the rear does offer a small increase in ground clearance as well. Now, I wouldn't recommend picking this kit up and tackling the toughest trail routes, because at the end of the day, it's not the most ground clearance, but it does definitely allow you to tackle bigger obstacles than you would with a stock height, especially if you throw bigger tires under there. Now, this is a budget lift that has just enough strut spacer and rear shackle height to level the truck out and make it look a little bit more aggressive. Leveling the truck is something that a lot of guys want to do in order to get rid of that ugly factory rake. Now, keep in mind that rake is dipping the front down just a little bit lower than the rear just to help with towing and hauling, countering the added weight in the back. However, if you're not really doing much of that, then obviously it's just the looks, so you can switch that up to your personal preference. Speaking of budget kit, this one from Max Track does give you the bare essentials of what you need to lift your truck, keeping the price under the $200 mark. That's not to take away from the impressive build quality of the lift parts. You're looking at high quality steel all around with urethane bushings for less binding. The powder coated gray finish adds a rust and corrosion resistant layer as well, which is much needed under the truck. Now these will even maintain your factory ride quality and maintain all proper angles in your suspension. Now it's typically recommended to get your alignment checked once you lift your truck, just to make sure it stays correct, but that's about it. The installation doesn't require too much, just a jack and jack stands as well as a simple ratchet and socket set. It'll take you about two to three hours from start to finish, and I'm giving it one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Now the first thing you need to do is get the truck in the air and support it on stands. From there, remove the front wheels and unbolt the two 10 millimeter brake line bracket retaining bolts and unhook the ABS line. Remove the 21 millimeter tie rod nut, separate the tie rod from the knuckle, then unbolt the upper sway bar end link. Loosen the upper ball joint nut, break the joint loose from the knuckle and remove it. Then remove the lower strut mounting nut and bolt. The two lower control arm mounting bolts come next, then use a jack to support the lower control arm and take the pressure off the bolt and remove the strut. Install the strut spacer at the top of the strut, then reinstall it to the truck. Install the lower strut mounting bolt, then use a jack to raise the lower control arm back into the frame pocket. The upper sway bar end link gets reinstalled at this time, then you can torque to the factory specs. Tighten everything back up, reinstall the 10 millimeter brake line bolts and the ABS line, then repeat for the other side. For the rear, get the truck in the air and remove the rear wheels. Prepare to install both sides at the same time to avoid binding spring bolts. Support the rear axle with the floor jack under the differential, then remove the lower shackle bolts. Jack it up just enough to remove the upper shackle bolt, then lightly grease the supplied bushing and sleeves and install the new shackles. Reinstall the wheels and you're good to go. Just to wrap things up here, if you're the owner of a 2015 or newer F-150, you might want to check out the MaxTrack 3-inch and 2-inch leveling kit, which is available right here at americantrucks.com.